Pat Riley isn't worried about father time. Since those hands on the clock struck midnight on Saturday morning, he's been aggressive. Trying to land prize free agent Gordon Hayward, Riley brought in a crew for this whale hunt. He coaches front office personnel and players. Trying to establish with the All Star that he are the type of offense that Hayward wants to be in. But that was yesterday. The Hayward courtship caravan continued today in Boston, meeting with the Celtics with his former Butler University coach turned current Celtics head coach Brad Stevens picking him up at the airport. Then it was off to Fenway Park for a meeting with the C's brass. Hayward will meet with his former team, the Jazz, tomorrow in San Diego. And Hayward will supposedly and reportedly have a decision as early as Tuesday, Amber, is Hayward swiping left or is he swiping right on the heat at this point? Which one's the good one? Yeah, I'm not very tingle familiar. Left. Let's go left. That's what we <laughs> yeah. want. Well, whichever one's the good one, unfortunately for Heat fans, if you'd asked me a week ago, my money would have been in Boston for him to swipe really? that direction. I like some of the pieces out there in Boston. I know Heat fans don't want to hear that. You, of course, you have Isaiah Thomas, you have Al Horford. I think that you can build around those guys. Obviously, Danny Ainge has done a good job with that franchise, collecting those draft pieces. But the biggest piece that I think factors into the Hayward decision in terms of Boston is his familiarity with Brad Stevens. If he wants to play for a coach that he's familiar with from his time at Butler, then I think he ends up a Boston Celtic. However, the rumor mill has been kind to the Miami Heat over the last 48 hours. We heard good things about the meeting. A close source to Hayward said, that he was really impressed by what Spoke and what have we heard out coming out of Boston? We, I, Not a peep. we haven't heard a peep yet. Not that meeting a peep. was very long that's in Boston. Right. I don't know if that's good or bad. I heard one report that that might be bad for Hayward. So we'll see. I, of course, we had heard a week ago that his family likes the idea of warm weather and that's beaches. Right. We certainly have that over Boston, if that report is true. 